morning. Good morning, Cincinnati. I'm Bob Herzog. And I'm Jen Dalton. Thank you for joining us on this Friday Eve, as we say. Uh, on Ark Cincinnati. Are the goats here? Do we have a there's goat? Like, is there a goat within 10 here? feet of you right now, there's a goat. Oh my God, do do okay. <laughs> okay. She's completely distracted. Uh, you've now. lost me. <laughs> you had me a goat. Uh, anyway, that gets us one step closer into turning this studio into a petting zoo. And honestly, I'm not sure that hasn't been Jen's plan all along. Uh, also, we want to see your stuff. And by stuff, I mean your ink. And by ink, I mean your tattoos. We take a look at some of your body art in just a little bit. But first, let's see what's brewing in the tri state. Well, thankfully, things were much quieter yesterday after Oof. many communities were just battered by severe weather on Tuesday night. I mean, just look at that right here. Yeah, Our co-workers were out yeah, all over the tri-state to survey damage, including that campground in Brookville that was hit by an EF1 tornado. Neighbors spent all day helping each other out, trying to clean up. Just a handful of people actually lived there full time. So many saw the damage the next morning. One man weathered the storm in his camper. He ended up getting trapped and had to escape through a storage port. I felt the camper go like this here, and I yeah. said, uh-oh, we're going to wind up in Kansas like Dorothy, you know? Yeah. But that, yeah. that's when I heard the tree come down. And here's a little peek behind the camera for you. Our videographer who shot this story, Morgan Ward, posted a photo to X, and, and she says she had a, a little help from a five-year-old viewer right there on how to work the camera, which That's is good. which is really sweet. I'm just glad nobody was hurt despite right. the, the sheer, gosh, not just the damage and the, the, the amount of damage, but the number of tornadoes that eight, have been right eight and it may grow from there. Tara Blake was saying that, you know, the National Weather Service is still out trying to, you know, perhaps confirm a couple of others. So you've got eight tornadoes in our region. Certainly we've had tornadoes that have been more violent than that, but I can't remember a time where we had that many individual tornadoes all confirmed in one sort of evening like that before. Yeah. I can't and remember that. To have eight and not have, I mean, I know there's damage, but I, there haven't been any confirmed injuries or anything. Not, the, there. not so that I know of it, that's anything, like, I guess, minor at best, but yeah, oh gosh. I mean, thank goodness for yeah. that. But yeah, it's surprising, truly surprising. Yeah, well, the Alt Park fireworks are a beloved 4th of July staple, but how much would it cost the city of Cincinnati to keep this tradition alive? Earlier this year, the park board announced it was unable to continue putting on the Alt Park fireworks. The show stretched back more than 50 years. The city launched a study to find out what would be needed to keep them going, and they found that it would be a price tag of about more than $32,000. The city's recommendation is that either the community groups come together to put them on or money be raised to help the park board continue the display. I mean. Not a cheap it, no, it, adventure. It, it, it's yeah. just hard to believe up and until this point it had been completely volunteer driven yeah. that they were able to maintain it at that level for as long as they did. And now they're going to be counting on somebody to sort of maybe swoop in to help right. monetarily in order to make it happen. It, it would be a shame to lose it because, first of all, Alt Park is such a beautiful setting. Yeah. And for some people, it's just sort of a thing that they they do every summer. And I know a lot of people will miss it a lot. But but the other side of that is volunteers make so much happen in this city yep. and as some of those folks sort of maybe age out to, to doing that kind of work or the, the, the thing gets too popular got to have other people who are going to yes. step up whether it's with their time or with their money yep. I have to tell them you realize I have to tell them what's <laughs> why happening, I'm right? standing like this it's, it's not because this is like a new Instagram pose it, it's because uh, my, my, is it, oh, it's called my IFB yeah your it's, audio pack I thought it was right there. it's not yeah it's gonna fall it's gonna so fall I'm just gonna it's gonna stand come, here until it's gonna come careening down I'm gonna go behind let's just the keep screen. watching I'm just waiting for it nope. 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 Okay. okay I'll read something else uh, the final touches are being made on plans for the convention center makeover downtown and a new proposal would ban cars in front of the new center according to our partners at the Cincinnati Business Courier 3CDC is proposing that Elm Street be completely shut down to car traffic in front of the new Duke Energy Center. Now, this would allow for a permanent park and a pedestrian area that would include green space and a dog park. City Council will vote on closing Elm Street later this month. I mean, it's going to be, as you see from, you know, really cool looking the renderings here. It will be quite a thing when it is finished. I don't know how people will feel about losing that section of Elm Street because we over the last I don't know what five years or so we've had a lot of that sort of thing done where things have become more pedestrian yeah. friendly and, and and that kind of thing trying so to think, okay so if you come off fifth you come at fifth then yep. the, the convention center is right there so Elm is the left. next street right correct we're, we're, we're one After of the bigger Central, and so one of the big entrances is right there yeah you know as you round the bend 
So you essentially that, couldn't yeah. take that left. You've got all the work they're doing up on Central Parkway too, up near TQL, where you'll you'll lose lanes right. of of um, you know car traffic as well. Yeah. So it's it's certainly sort of changing the feel of downtown yeah. to make it a lot more pedestrian friendly, which I think could be a really, really Very good nice. thing. I just know ingress and egress folks who want to drive in for work and, and get the heck out, perhaps some frustration. It'll be interesting to see how it all breaks down. Yep. Yeah, we'll see. Well, we've talked about how colleges have fought against students using AI, but now a local university is offering a degree in studying artificial intelligence. They're embracing it. Look, look embracing how they're embracing it. it. Yes. NKU is the first university in the region to offer a minor in the field of AI. Dr. Kevin Kirby is the dean of NKU's College of Informatics. He told the Northern Kentucky Tribune that the minor was designed to pair with most any major. He says the goal is to teach the societal, ethical, and legal implications of artificial intelligence. And AI, of course, getting better and better all the time. And we wanted to put one of the image generating algorithms okay. to the test. I haven't seen this yet, have you? I haven't seen it I'm either. I'm kind of scared. So we fed it some screen, oh no. We, we fed it some screenshots here from Arc Cincinnati and told it to make Arc Cincinnati, but in a <gasps> cartoon style. Okay. And this Let's is see. what it, it, it sort of spat back out to us. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I love it. Why do I not hate that? Except, oh, is it what's happening? There? Well, it's okay, it's well, it's Sinoy sen, sen, Natty. Well, that's fine. Other than but that, I, the but cartoons are fantastic. It's, it's it's really good. It's sort of, it's sort of almost a uh, Pokemon style. It I, is. I feel like I should be uh, you know uh, gathering up Pikachu oh. and uh, going to work there. Can we you make a I mean? print of that? Can we have it? Seriously, that's really. We'll put that on the shelf. Absolutely, we're gonna put it right up there. We'll put it on the top shelf. Uh, okay, I'm going to tell you this, though. Honestly, my hair looks better there than my hair has ever looked in my life. Ever. I and, love it. And what I, am I holding? And I wish my eyebrows were that far apart, <laughs> but they connect. They just meet right just in the middle. And just gave me jewelry that I don't own, but that's Look okay. That. Are you holding like to, something? I, that's what I said. I don't, I'm not sure. It looks like a drill. I'm like getting ready to like put up some shelves. Maybe? Well, you know what? Hands are difficult for for people to draw. Yeah. Hands are tough. Man, I don't and so know maybe for AI, maybe it's tough too. I don't. Sometimes I don't, I don't know. know what I don't know what to do. Look, with my hands, Ron Burgundy. Oh, oh. How you doing, fella? What about me? It's real nice hair you got there. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Really cool. I like it. Oh my God. I've got this cartoon, Jen. Remember this one? That I, one I do. Friends? I do. It's a great it's cartoon, Jen. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at back there <laughs> is that from back on our, uh, in our, our cinema 64, 64 days, days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah boy yeah they're both i'm great. telling you different representations that i is, like it that's good thank stuff. you okay am well, i that's... wearing that suit right now yes <laughs> i think that's for earlier this week dude I got... except you've got a white white shirt on there but that's okay yeah, it's good that's right okay uh it's 808 that was kind of fun uh oh, it is go 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 time here in the tri-state oh yeah just ahead we're going to break down some of the big events happening around town this weekend plus we've got to go what are you looking at? Weirdo? <laughs> sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.